So now I will try to do a video um, to teach human design. And I think that I've given up a lot of uh, reasons that I think raw stuff is really not healthy for people. Anyway, the main thing is that you want to learn how to you read the body graph. And the main thing about reading the body graph is that you start by looking at how centers are defined and to each other, what kind of definition type they make. So when you look at a chart first, uh, the Zen human design charts are the only ones I used. And of course, it is a big deal when you get the free ones from Jovian and it says, oh, you're a generator and you have a design to, well, no, you've got to your strategy. That's what it is. <laughs> anyway, the old story with, um, how we were taught human design is that there were five definition types. And it begins with no definition. I'm going to come to that in just a sec. Then single definition, split definition, triple split, and quadruple split. And then there are two modes, either a mode to do or to wait. All right. So now I'm going to go back to uh, no definition. Someone wrote me on one video and asked that question about describing something, asking another question like, I don't know what the strategy is or something. Anyway, I don't remember what the question was, but I do remember that I wanted to comment here as our starting point. And that would be uh, no definition and what that might mean. So let's take a sec and start with no definition. Nothing in the chart is defined. And therefore, this is a person who is not having one type of experience or another, but rather is the ultimate conditioned person. And so you want to understand when you have no definition, there is only the conditioning experience that is always going to change, of course, but it is some way you might want to understand what that is when nothing in the nature is fixed. Nothing is defined. And so um, I've talked about it otherwise, but maybe you have the opportunity to understand somebody else because of how you feel or how it affects you or what interests you or what is potent for you. So the experience of having no uh, definition does tell that you have the possibility of being quite a reader. And that means somebody comes in your field and whatever you experience, oh, gee, I feel sick over here. I feel ill there. This is, of course, an undefined spleen as a potential reading somebody else's energy field when you are with them. But anyway, 
I want to say that because our task is to read the body graph, you want to start by looking at the definition type and then secondly at how the centers are defined. That is the main thing. No matter what man I spent, I think it was almost a year I talked with a buddy of mine and uh so I was trying to, I don't know, write some basic book and I had done a workshop and I had used the four types. I had everybody's chart and uh, we were talking type. And actually, I came away from that going, God, that didn't work. I mean, yeah, it's easy enough to describe how the types work. But what was very obvious is that that was not a starting point at all. And I was really, as I said, talking to my friend every day, trying to figure out how to talk about human design and where we would want to start it. So anyway, uh, eventually after that year, whatever it was, was a long time. Um, I realized <clears throat> that your first experience with human design is that you need to understand how the centers feel. And in other words, not just how they feel to get conditioned by somebody, but how actually they work. And so, of course, you start with your own chart that's always practical. And uh, from your own chart, you could learn how... Uh, conditioning feels to an undefined center and also to be observant as you have something defined but somebody is conditioned by you and therefore you can observe maybe if they have that whatever center undefined and you have it defined to observe how they uh, are experiencing the conditioning effect of being with you. Now, of course, this is pretty uh, sophisticated to be that observant. And the things where the centers are easier to understand is when they are disturbed. That means, what's the problem with having an emotional definition if somebody is cheerful and happy and mellow? That is simple. But being conditioned by uh, somebody, I think, it's <laughs> me. You know, for me, uh, the experience of how conditioning works is something that in my uh, marriage to Chaitanya, who had a, who has, he's uh, alive, has a heart center definition was that, um, I would feel tense. That would be the word that he would get uptight about something and I would experience tension. And I think because it was so easy for me to experience that and I'm emotionally defined, he not watching how he was affected 
by the emotional definition I conditioned him with was a really perfect setup for seeing how a chart would uh, work and how it would affect me or him or someone else. So I think the first thing that you want to understand is definition type, whatever, and then the next thing is how the centers are defined and if there is a split, what is the magnetic force of uh, the bridge to that particular area. In other words, if you have a split, the bridge putting the two parts together or, you know, could be more than one gate is going to be something that is very attractive. And because it is attractive conditioning, it is a clue to you for seeing how a person would be attracted to one person or someone else. And uh, I would go back to me on the triple split definition. And so the observation of how that triple split works and how it gets conditioned is what clued me in that my daughter being born completely bridged everything in my chart to the point that that was uh, uh, an obvious thing that she gave me everything. I didn't need her dad. And that was a picture not that great for him. But anyway, just to tell you that when some person, my daughter in this case, puts everything in the chart into a single definition, this attachment to that person is depending on how you get put together into a single definition. Now, um, this is something that could change, and I think this is one of the clues about being a triple split, is you could be otherwise. And because it is um, that potential to experience something in a new way. It is also the triple split definition people may not be all that uh, happy just to hang in there and stick with somebody. Anyway, I am uh, going to leave it right there.